Hey, did you know there are over 200 different things that Google tracks and measures in order to figure out where to rank your web page on the Google search engine results? Well, here's the interesting thing. If you can get about five or six of those things right, you've made massive headway into Google and you can worry about all the little details later. But if you get those five or six things right, you can start seeing spikes in your Google search engine results. Now, my friend Chris Reed put together a short video looking at specific data revolving around the 60 second marketer and said, here are the things, Jamie, you need Need to do here's the cool thing i'm going to share that video with you so you can employ the things that chris talked about for your own website and see the same results that i've seen it's a great way to look in depth at what you need to do in order to improve your search engine results ready to take a look at the video let's dive on in hey guys chris reed here from outer seo and here's a video to show you things you can implement yourself to get your website in front of the very people that are actively searching for exactly what you do and help you grow your business so we're gonna use Jamie's website as an example. So you can see Jamie ranks for 2,600 keywords, but it's only generating with 1,200 visitors. So that means the vast majority of keywords are not on the front page of Google. So here's the keywords he's ranking for, here's the position, and most importantly, here's the search volume. So if a keyword's got very little search volume, then who cares where you rank? We wanna focus on the keywords that people are searching for. So if we scroll down here, we can see here's, here's one that does have really good search volume, a thousand searches a month, and Jamie's number four. So here's an article from Moz, one of the industry authorities that shows the click-through rates of on the front page of Google. So about 4% of people, this is page two, go to page two, and then that gets divided by the 10 there. So you're really not gonna get much traffic, where if you're in position six to 10, you get 4% yourself. So Jamie's what, at number four? So four, gets you around 7% of that of those, of those clicks. So if he's just to move up one spot, it's going to be a heck of a lot more traffic. And if it moves up three spots, well, you're looking at five times the amount of traffic, 500% more visitors if you just focus on that one keyword. And we'll show you how to focus on that in a minute. But looking at the keywords, if we organize them by search volume, you can see that you know, some of these keywords are massive. So like Uber suggests, a really great tool by Neil Patel. You know, Jamie's down at number 43. No one's going to the fifth page of Google at, at number 43. So he's not getting any of those clicks. There's 27,000 people searching at a month. So optimizing this page is gonna have some really big wins. Here's a great keyword, social media list, 3,600 searches a month. So optimizing this page is going to, you know, have a great result. Let's go and look at this page. So this is the page. I mean, the, the content looks pretty good. It's, it's nice and long and it's got a list. So that's, it's very long. So that's, that's a good sign. But if we go up to the top, so this is called a title tag, right? It's not set to anything that someone is going to be searching for. Like 2020, I mean, it's good to have it in there. It's kind of relevant, but top 57 social media platforms, every executive should know. Like no one is searching for that. People are searching social media list. Get that into the, into the H1 and get that into the H1. So the H1 is called a header one tag, and that's where your primary keyword should be. And so social media list is the primary keyword for this page, and so that's what should be in the H1. So a really quick way you can see what that page looks like in Google is if you go to Google and type site, S-I-T-E, colon, and then that URL. And so this is that page, right? So you can see the title tag here is social media platforms, not bad, we want it to be social media list. So change change that to social media list. You also, you don't really need to have your brand name in there because if someone's searching for your brand name, then they're gonna find you. So if you can get more uh, keywords in there, that's better. So the description here, this should be set to your secondary keywords. So like you can see here, what follows is a list of top social media platforms. That's not it. You wanna have like to the left-hand side what people are searching for and you know, as many keywords as you can in that. So we can use this site technique for your whole website. So you can just go over to Google and type site colon and your domain name. And so this shows all of the pages that you have indexed. So you can go through all of them and make sure that they're set, the title tag and the description. Anytime you see this dot, 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 and there's probably some more here, dot, 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 means they're not set to the right length. So you wanna go through all of your pages and make sure they're keyword optimized. Don't think about you, don't think about like Ask Jamie Turner or your brand name. Make sure that it's going to have 
what people are actively searching for. What is, that, what is the problem that that page serves? That's what you wanna get in there. So next up, your site structure. So once you have your keyword list, you wanna think about a really solid site structure. So Amazon has a fabulous website. So that's a great example to follow. And so you see it's amazon.com slash fashion, slash movies, slash music. And then under, under fashion, it's men's and women's and then you know, dresses and pants and, and whatever. That makes it really easy for users to find out what, find what they're looking for. And it makes it really easy for Google to understand what pages are more important. So using the same trick, you know, site column, your domain name, you can see what Google sees as your most important pages. And so like, if these aren't your most important pages, your site structure is probably wrong, but fixing that's a little bit too technical for, for this short video. So next up, domain authority. Uh, going back to mods, there's a great article here. You know, can you rank in Google without links? New data says slim chance. So links, backlinks, are the fundamentals of how Google works, right? Because anyone can say anything they want on the, on, on the internet, you know? And how does Google know if it's true or not? They have no idea. They have to trust what other people are saying. And they do that by who's linking to you. So the more backlinks you have from other websites, the more authority you build and the better you'll rank. So that's really important. And the last bit is crawl budget. So we wanna make sure that Google's not wasting its time on unwanted pages. Like the internet is really vast, right? And even Google with its massive computers can't see the whole internet the whole time. So if it's wasting time on internal pages of your website that don't need to be ranking, then you're wasting Google's time. So using this same technique, site colon in your domain name, you can go through, and if you go down to the far ends, so you can see Jamie's got lots and lots of pages here, anything that shouldn't be indexed, all you need to do is add the no index tag. So a lot, a lot of these tag pages and live streaming pages, they shouldn't be there. So if you go and add this metadata, no, no index to it, it'll remove it from the index and Google won't uh, won't waste time looking at those pages and it can spend more time analyzing your more important pages and ranking them. So I'm gonna leave that, that, that at it for today because I mean, it's a bit to digest. But if you'd like a Google review like this yourself on your own website, I've set up a special page. All you have to do is go to ardor, S-E-O, A-R-D-O-R, S-E-O.com slash Jamie. And I'll personally make a review for you. I'll uh, look at what your keywords are I'll uh, you know, help you fix your title tags and descriptions and show you exactly what you need to get in front of your, your potential customers and help you grow your business. I hope that was useful and interesting. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, I hope you found that video helpful. I know when I started doing what Chris told me to do, I started seeing results on Google that I hadn't seen in a long time. It was really, really helpful. Click the link below if you want to check out Chris's work. My name is Jamie Turner. This has been In60. If you also want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell because when you hit the bell, you'll be notified next time we have another segment just like this one. This is In60 with Jamie Turner and I'll catch you next time.